this is Shelly from Frugal Family Home and I wanted to show you today how to make your own rose water at home. Now I'm going to start with some roses that we have from our garden and um, we grow our roses organically but if you don't grow roses be sure to buy organic roses for this recipe. And then what you want to do is just pull the petals off just like this and drop them into the water and we're just going to rinse these off and get them clean and then we can use them in our recipe. Okay, so now we have our roses off of the stems and I'm just going to rinse them. We had a few bugs jumped on off of them and things like that. We want all of that, those bugs and any debris off of our roses before we make our rose water. So we're just gonna rinse these and then drain them and put them into a pot. Okay, now we've rinsed our rose petals off. Now we're just gonna add enough distilled water to just cover the rose petals. You don't want too much water or else you'll dilute your rose water. So just a little bit more, I think, and watch out because the leaves will try to push it out that looks good. So you can fully submerge the rose petals, although they do float some. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this and just bring it to a light simmer until their petals have lost their color. Okay, now here is our rose petals all done and cooked. And so we're I've let it cool probably about a half an hour to an hour. And now we're just going to remove all of the rose petals here and as you can see most of them have really lost their color okay now that we got most of those rose petals out let's move the jar over here and we're just going to fill the jar and strain it as we go. And there we have our finished rose water. Okay, as you can see, it's a really nice dark pink color, very pretty, and it smells wonderful. And you can use this, put it into, um, let it cool, and then put it into a small spritz bottle, something like that to use to spray it. And thanks so much for watching. And if you like to see more of these DIY videos, I would love to have you subscribe to our channel. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you like it. And thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.